Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is on baby girl names that I love but won't be using. Um, if you didn't know based on other videos of mine, if this is your first time seeing, I'm a mom. I have three boys. I have a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and a one-year-old. And I am pregnant with baby girl. She is our fourth baby and most likely our last baby. I think our family is complete at this point once she gets here. And we have finally decided on her name. And so I wanted to share all the names that I had on my list that um, I was battling back and forth with for different reasons, whether I just really loved them and my husband didn't like them or um, we both loved them, we, but we just decided on a different name, you know, and I'm going to go over um, like their origins, their meanings and, um, you know, different things like that with you in case um, you are looking for a baby girl name as well, whether you're pregnant or um, you have a friend that is. Um, I always enjoy watching these videos and honestly it's like the first uh, thing that I do whenever I become pregnant is look up baby names because you know buying all the stuff comes later on obviously. But baby names are very important and we had a really hard time choosing a baby girl's name. I don't know if it's because we have three boys already. Um, so like our list had kind of grown and evolved over the last um, six years since we've been looking at baby names. Um, and so I'm going to go over all of that with you. If you're interested, keep watching. Alrighty, so I'm going to get through these as fast as I can for you because I do have to go into work here really soon. Let's start off with one I found um, just a few months ago and I just really thought it was a beautiful name. Um, I am very much into uh, four letter names for some reason so you'll see a lot of those on this list but this one is an A name. This is Aaliyah. So I know everybody's heard of Leah. Um, I've had, you know, friends in the past named Leah, but Aaliyah spelled A-L-E-A, -E and I just think it is so pretty, and um, it's got a beautiful meaning. It's from he Hebrew origin, and it means rising or to ascend, so I just think of like a little angel. I think Aaliyah is just such a pretty name. Next name is also an A name. This is one that I've liked for, oh gosh, probably... 15 or 16 years now, um, and it is the name Anya. Um, Anya is spelled A-N-Y-A. -A. Um, it's an Indian name meaning um, inexhaustible, um, limitless, and uh, resurrection. Um, it's from Sanskrit origin as well. Um, in Hebrew, it means favored by God. So if you're religious, that's a very pretty name meaning. It also is a Russian um, diminutive of Anna. So if you like the name Anna or uh, Anastasia, then maybe try Anya. So it'd be a little bit different. All right, one more A name for you. This one is the name Avon. I just thought this one was so pretty. Um, it means beautiful and pleasant. It's spelled A-V-E-N. Um, in Irish, um, Avon means fair radiance. So it's a very pretty uh, feminine name, I feel. And I think it just, it's just, it's so pretty. All right, now let's go on to a B name. This one is Beatrice. This is one that was a top contender um, this go round for us. I love the nickname Bea, spelled B-E-A. Now, my husband argued with me that Beatrice would be shortened to B. And um, I just like the name Bea. And I like the name Beatrice. And it went well with the middle name we had chosen as well. Um, it was like one that I fought over with him. Um, but there was just other names that he liked more than Beatrice. But I think it's such a pretty name. And Bea is just so cute. All right, this name was another name that I've loved since I was a little girl, and this is the name Clara. Clara spelled C-L-A-R-A. -A. Um, in Latin, it's meaning uh, bright or clear, um, so kind of like clear, Clara. Um, it's a very wintry name. It comes up if you look up, like, Christmassy names. It will pop up for you. All right, this is another C name for you. This is the name Casper. 
So I know Casper is probably known for like Casper the Friendly Ghost, um, where it's like a male name, obviously. Um, it, it says in the meaning that it's a boy's name of Scandinavian, um, Persian origin, meaning a bringer of treasure. Um, so, you know, if you like maybe pirates, maybe you'd like that. Um, but I love the name Casper and it's kind of a funny story. I had um, a coworker, I went through a drive through to pick up my coffee and a coworker misheard my name in the drive and they thought my name was Casper. And so they called that out at window for me. And I was just like, you know what? That's like such a cute name. I could picture a little blonde haired little girl running around named Casper. And I was just like, I really try, was trying to push that on my husband because it's different. And I just thought it was so cute. And like, everybody loves Halloween. Come on. This one was another um, top contender for me. My husband, not so much. I found this one when I found the name that we ended up choosing. This one is the name Clover, spelled C-L-O-V-E-R, like a four-leaf clover, a lucky clover. Super cute. It's a British origin meaning meadow flower, you know, the clover. I found it because um, we're having a baby girl. She's our fourth baby. Um, I think she's kind of lucky to be here because I never thought I'd have a girl at this point. And so I was looking up names that meant lucky or names that meant four and like clover came up because of four leaf clover. Um, and I just thought that would be such a cute little name for, for our baby specifically. Um, but we just, we ended up going with a different name. My husband's not real big on the super out there or unique names. He's more of a old fashioned traditional type. So I couldn't, I couldn't swing clover with him, but let me tell you this. If we were having twin girls, I would have had clover and then the girl that we have. Um, the name. So I just think they would go adorable together as twins. All right. How about the name Eve? You know, everybody knows, you know, Adam and Eve. Um, so Eve means life or living. Um, so it's a biblical name and it's just short and sweet. Of course you could do Evelyn and short it to Evie or Eve, but I just liked plain Eve. I just thought it was so pretty. It's beautiful to write and look at. Um, we also have the E name Ella on the list. Um, you know, there's so many Bellas around, but um, just Ella, E-L-L-A. Um, it's Greek and Hebrew origins, meaning beautiful fairy maiden goddess. So it's kind of a whimsical name if you like that. This is another name that I've loved for many, many years. There is a country song um, titled with this name, and it is Guinevere. Um, it can be shortened to Gwyn. Um, I know it's probably the longest name on my list. Um, I just think it's so beautiful. And there's, like I said, there's a song that I love called Guinevere. Um, it's of Welsh origin, meaning white fairy um, or fair one. It says this name is well known from the 12th century legend of King Arthur, um, who pulled the sword out of the stone. Um, his wife's name was Guinevere. Um, so if you are into like medieval, um, that kind of era, maybe try Gwen or Guinevere. This is another name I really, really thought was beautiful and different and pretty. And it is the name Isla, spelled I-S-L-A. Um, it's of Spanish origins. Um, it means island. So if you are big into traveling or you love different islands, which I'm sure you'd find other names if you did, but the name Isla is so pretty and it's also Scottish as well if you have Scottish um, history. This one, I have a funny story. So my name is Jessica and my husband's name is Joe. Um, and so we were looking for a name that maybe had a J um, to kind of incorporate that. Um, and I liked the name Jovi. I don't know how it came up, but it just came up in a search I did. Um, my husband wasn't a fan of it really. I really liked it. Um, it is meaning happy, cheerful, and friendly. But it's beautiful if you write it like in calligraphy or, you know, cursive. Um, the name Jovi is just so pretty. Um, now, we considered Josie a long, long time ago with my first son as um, a name. And I don't know. I just think I like Jovi more. Here's another, like, 
Christmassy, wintry name if you are into that. Um, it is Joy. So I'm sure you see it all the time around the holidays. It's of Latin origin, meaning great pleasure and happiness. It's a very short name, and I think it's just beautiful. Um, it would be a name that would be gorgeous on a little girl as well as um, an elderly woman. So, joy. Now this one my husband uh, fought me on big time, and it's the name June. He wanted this baby to be named June so bad. She's due in June. And I, I did bring it up to him. It's a four-letter name, and it does start with a J. Um, it's of Latin origin, meaning young. It is also, you know, a summer month if you're due in June. Um, it's derived from Juno, a powerful Roman goddess who was considered the protector of marriage and childbirth. So there's that for you if you didn't know that about the name June. All right, so this name is the name Lyra. So Lyra is spelled L-Y-R-A. It's of Greek origin, meaning harp. Um, I, I found the name Lyra from many years ago. I loved the uh, story of Lyra Balakwa um, in the Golden Compass, if you have seen uh, that. And I just thought it was such a beautiful name. I've never met anybody with that name. Um, and me and my husband both liked it. It just it, it never made it to the top of the list. This name were, was um, my oldest son's. A pick and it's the name Mavis. He's big into um, the Halloween movie Hotel Transylvania and the female lead in it. Her name is Mavis and I did like it because I've never heard it before. Um, I think it's unique. Um, it says it's of origin is French and it means songbird. So if you like musical birds, um, you know, pretty little songbird named Mavis, maybe you'll consider that name. Here's another day, holiday one. Um, I really pushed for this one, and, and it was, I would say, maybe in the top five. Um, it was in the top three for the longest until we found others. But the name Mary, spelled M-E-R-R-Y, um, like Merry Christmas. So um, Christmas is my favorite time of the year, and I was looking at a lot of baby names around uh, Christmas time. And so that came up. Um, it's of English origin, meaning lighthearted and happy. Um, it is a classic Christmas name. If you love Christmas time, maybe give Mary. Um, you can also spell Mary like um, Jesus' mother. Um, but Mary, like Merry Christmas, is a unique spelling. All right, another M name for you. This one's a short one. The name Mia. I love the name Mia. I think it's so cute. Um, it's definitely more popular. Um, it says, believed to stem from the ancient Egyptian word, Mr., um, which means beloved. Also, in Italian word, Mia means mine. So, like, my baby girl, uh, my Mia. That would be super cute. Okay, I've got to rush through these last ones because I'm going to be late walking in if not um, but this is the name Nola so I heard this name I was reading a holiday book and the female lead her name was Nola um, it's short it's sweet and it's different um, it's of Irish origin if you're looking for something it means white shoulder so there's that all right here is a P name for you this is the name Pippa I thought Pippa was adorable I've heard of Piper before but Pippa is just super short and cute comes from Greek origin, um, the word phylos, which is meaning loving, so that's very pretty, and hippo, um, meaning horse, so it says together they mean lover of horses, so if you are a lover of horses, maybe consider Pippa, that would be super cute, and would like a horse-themed nursery, that would be adorable. Another P name that we really liked was the name Poppy like the beautiful flower. It means red flower and it's of, of Latin and English origin. Another P name is Prue. Now I liked this one, my husband didn't. Um, the only Prue that I know of was on, I think, Charmed. Um, but it's Latin and it means sensible and prudent. So I thought Prue was just really short and cute. Now this one, oh my goodness, I wanted this one so bad. If my husband would have agreed to this one exactly how I wanted it spelt, then we would have chosen this one. And it's the name Thea. I love the name Thea. My husband did not love just Thea. Um, it's of Greek origin, meaning goddess. It's short um, form of Dorothy or Dorothea. So if you maybe like those, but you don't want to go so long, um, maybe just choose Thea. 
How about the name True? So True is just so cute. It obviously means real and genuine, um, and it's of English origin. All right, down to the last two. So this one is a V name and is the name Valley. So I just thought it was so pretty. Um, in Norse baby names, the meaning of the name Valley is son of Odin. So they're saying it's like a male name, but I just picture a pretty little girl. The last name is Willa. So I was looking for also W names because I have two sons with an S name and then I have one son with a W name. So I was trying to find a W name just so we would have JJ, me and my husband, SS for our order to boys, and then WW for our last two children. But uh, the name Willa came up. Um, I know Willow is very popular, but I like just Willa. Um, it's of German origin, meaning helmet of protection. So there's that. All right, so that's it for the baby girl names I love but won't be using. Um, so feel free to use them if you want to. I think they're beautiful names. Um, be sure to like and subscribe for more um, pregnancy, baby, postpartum related content to come and motherhood talk on this channel. I can't wait to see you in the next video and I hope y'all have a great, great day. Y'all have a good one. Bye.